gloved hands should be wiped to prevent cross-contamination. Place items in the work zone and wipe down. Verify all items required for the compounding session are in the work zone. This includes checking the log number and the expiration date. Use proper aseptic techniques during the compounding process. For example, in an isolator equipped with vertical laminar flow, do not work directly above the compounded products, as this will block first air and increase the risk of contamination. First air refers to air exiting the HAPAR filter in a unidirectional airstream that is essentially particle free. Ensure the air grills in the interior of the isolator are not obstructed. Do not overcrowd the work zone. Discard sharps in an approved sharps container after use. For applications involving hazardous drugs, use extreme caution when changing the sharps container to make sure it is sealed properly. After completion, wipe down the final products. For chemotherapy drugs, place finished products in sealed plastic bags. Place products in the pass-through and allow pass-through air to purge. Remove the final product from the pass-through using clean gloves. Label products before logging and delivery to patients. After the compounding session is complete, thoroughly sanitize the interior of the isolator in order to prevent cross-contamination of the next process. Allow air in the work zone to purge and shut down the isolator if desired. Cleaning and decontamination activities are to be carried out at the beginning of each shift, while the isolator is switched on and running. For cleaning, wipe the surfaces with detergent. This is followed by wiping with sterile deionized water or 70% IPA. The same procedures are followed for disinfection, except that liquid disinfecting agents such as quaternary ammonium compounds are substituted for detergents. Always remember to wipe from the cleanest to least clean in a systematic single direction. Wipes and mops made of polyester knit fabrics are the best choice as they do not lint or shed. Gaseous sterilization can also be performed if required. Proper and timely maintenance is crucial for the trouble-free functioning of the isolator. Maintenance and service are to be carried out by trained technicians. Recertification is required when the isolator is relocated, isolator performance is suspected, after filter or blower fan replacement and at least once every six months. Contaminated compounded sterile products can cause negative outcomes for patients such as fever, infection and possibly death. Remember, isolators are not magic boxes that eliminate the need for proper aseptic techniques. They are simply contamination control tools intended to augment well-executed operations. Even though you may not see the patient, always remember that real people, the patients, receive the compounded products made at your pharmacy. Remembering the loved one rule helps to make patients you may never see seem more real by picturing your loved one receiving the compounded products. We hope you've enjoyed your training with ESCO.